For a game that has only been out two days, Valorant has to have some of the best skins that I have seen in any game. And that is coming from somebody who has played Rainbow Six Siege for three years, the entire Call of Duty uh, franchise for close to 12 years now, uh, since MW2 at least, Black Ops 1, MW2, and CSGO. Now, I'm not saying that these are the best skins you know, of all time, but for a game that has only been out for two days, that that's the thing that I'm really pointing out. For, I mean, just just in general, in the beta, the, uh, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head, but the skins that came out in the beta were awesome. I loved the, uh, the like, Mystic uh, op that you could get in the Mystic Vandal in that bundle. Just absolutely amazing, vibrant looking skins that really popped out and made, I don't know, it just made the game more fun. I, I really do believe that that in video games, weapon skins and, and just skins in general make the game more enjoyable. And that is, you know, clear <laughs> as, you can, as you can tell by how well skins sell in almost every single FPS game. Um, now, I will be the first one to admit, especially in Valorant, these skins are ridiculously remaining. priced. You know, for just a basic skin by itself, it's like 875, uh, whatever they're called, Valorant points, Riot points. Uh, I, I can't remember what the game calls them. It's like 875 for the for the bundles. It's like 3,000, which um is an insane amount, really. Um, you know, you're looking at spending 30, 40 bucks just to get you know a, a nice set of skins. But if you are willing to fork out that kind of money, some of the skins in this game are just phenomenal. And I almost guarantee that they're just going to continue to get better. One of the things that I think Valorant did really well was the variants that you can use. Um, I went ahead and you'll see in this gameplay, I got the variant for the Vandal that is like white, orange, and blue. I think it looks absolutely amazing. You know, it changes the entire reload. It really just makes, it really makes the guns more enjoyable. Now, the one thing that I, you know, you may be able to do and I just don't know about it. And if it's possible, please do let me know. The one thing I wish you could fix um, or change is I wish you could use certain parts of a variant without using the whole thing. For instance, I'm not a huge fan of the sound of the Vandal. You know, I love the look of it and I love the reload, but I'm not a huge fan of the sound. I wish I could just change it back to the regular sound. If that's possible, please do let me know. But in any case, you know, that all of the variants for, for the Vandal and, and back in the beta, the, the variants that you could get for the AWP just look absolutely amazing. Of course, they're, they're kind of pricey. Um, but of course you can get those, those points, um, to get the variants, you know, in game. So that's nice. But I think just in general, what they have done with the skins, uh, of course it's to make money, right? You know, it's, it's, they do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, uh, there you go, right on screen. You can see the, uh, the vandal right there that I was talking about. You know, it's just such a great look and so much detail put into them. You know, if you get, you've got that little wolf head, um, right at the right at the back of the of i mean what would i guess essentially be a charging handle of sorts <laughs> um you know you've got the the glowing magazine and the uh you know just those vibrant colors i love the sheriff um the aristocrat sheriff i think that was my first buy because uh the sheriff is one of my favorite guns in the game uh as you'll see throughout this game and in most games um Unless it is some super high competitive game, I'll pretty much just buy the the sheriff anytime I don't have enough for a vandal. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll use the vandal um, the majority of the time. If I don't have enough for a vandal, I'll just go ahead and buy the sheriff. Um, and if I have a giant excess of money and I'm and I'm feeling risky, I'll you know use an op here and there. But the the skins are just so aesthetically pleasing. And, you know, Valorant is already one of my favorite games right now, and I'm, I'm sure that I will continue to play it for a very long time. Um, but I feel like the skins just add even more to the game. 
uh, and a great example of where games have failed is if you look at the Call of Duty series. Um, I think there's there's no question that the newest Call of Duty, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Modern Warfare really dropped the ball when it came to to the skins and the camos that you can get in that game. You know, if you if you look at a game like that, the skins just don't pop out. And I understand that they put out stuff saying that, you know, they didn't really want them to pop out because they still wanted to be kind of realistic. Um, and that's great and all to a certain extent. But it is just so much more enjoyable to look at those vibrant colors, the cool pattern designs. Um, you know, when I played CSGO, I had the... Uh, the Medusa skin for uh, for the op. I don't know if you know for those of you who have seen that, you know, and, and just things like that really bring out your your want to use those to use those weapons. Um, so yeah, I think just in general they did a great job, and I'm sure that it will just continue to get better. Um, you know, for those of you who don't have the money to buy the skins. I do definitely think that there should be some way to get the skins in game, um, you know. And even for the people who do have the money, you know, it 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 sucks to to throw your money at a video game. But the the way I look at it is the game's already free to play, so I don't mind throwing 50, 60 bucks here and there every couple of months, or you know, even once a year, just to you know kind of add to the enjoyability of the game. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this gameplay was was pretty insane. My teammates were absolutely dog shit, and so was the team on the the other team. It was I don't, honestly a kind of sad game. <laughs> uh, I wasn't playing my best. Honestly, it was my first game on. I had just hopped on, didn't even do any warm up, didn't have a whole lot of time to play. Um, just hopped on, and you know, ended up in this weird lobby. I think 36 kills at the end. Uh, I easily could have gotten gotten 40 plus, even 50, um, but there are multiple times where I messed up. I'm still working on getting better with Reyna's ult. Honestly, I feel like her ult is really powerful, especially with the invisibility, but it also kind of hurts you in a way um, if you're not used to it because you have that faster fire rate, that lower recoil, and it's just kind of weirder to use. I also hate the fact that the enemies glow red. I understand it's supposed to help, but in a way, I feel like it's just shittier <laughs> um but in any case i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'd appreciate it if you leave uh leave a like you know comments and uh subscribe uh take it easy guys I see the spiders. <sighs> Defenders win.